Mr. Sherman, and we're going to continue on with Cookie Clicker. I'm going to do uh, a few things in this video. The main thing I'm going to do is display cookies per second down here, and we're going to make all our building costs go up as we buy them. So if you see this formula right here, the price of your next building is the price of your current building times 1.15. So that's easy enough to set up. So let's hop over to blocks. And if you look at, let's just start with our cursor button. So here are the is the price of our cursor. Here's the price of our grandma. Here's the price of our farm. Those are hard coded in. They're hard to change. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to convert them to variables. So I'm going to create called cursor price. And our first cursor is 15. So what we're going to say is if we have enough cookies, if it's greater than our cursor price, then subtract from our cursor price. So now every time we buy a cursor, we need to increase its price. What do we increase it to? Itself times 1.15. And then let's make sure we're also going to update what the button says. So we're going to say the button text. Snap all this in. Uh, I don't even remember what, what my button says. So that, oh, yeah. I was going to say plus one cursor. Open parenthesis. Cursor price. Cookies. Close parenthesis. So I didn't test that out, but that should look pretty close to being right. So we can do the same thing right down here. Grandma price. Is 100. <clears throat> so snap that in. Duplicate this. Snap that. Get rid of the boom. boom. And then let's just duplicate this. Grandma price. Grandma price. Duplicate this. Grandma button. <clears throat> One, grandma. Same thing right down here. First, let's duplicate this. Uh, farm price, 1100. And we're going to go boom. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. And same thing, duplicate. Duplicate. And like I keep saying, once you just start getting this pattern done, we just duplicate it over and over. So what I'm actually going to do to represent cookies per second now. So cookies per second is going to be all this change amount added up. So I'm actually going to make a procedure. And I'm just going to call this calculate... CPS, cookies per second. And I'm going to have a variable, you guessed it, a variable to represent cookies per second. It's going to start out as zero. So cookies per second is equal to all these things added up. So that's easy. So let's just go cookies per second equals cursor change amount plus grandma change amount plus farm change amount and how do i get another slot just add it boom and now let's give ourselves a place to display this so i'm just going to go ahead duplicate this for now call this cps label cps zero so 
add all this up and then I'm just gonna make this easy on myself. CPS label, CPS, CPS. And that will make all our, uh, oh, and then we gotta make sure we're ca uh, calling this, my fault. We need to at calculate this every single time we buy a new building. So every time we buy a new building, our cookies per second goes up, so we got to recalculate it. I almost forgot to set that up. Okay, so now that should be all of this. We're calculating our CPS, displaying it. Our uh, building prices go up as we buy them. We're updating the button correctly. And our game is kind of is starting to scale properly. Um, so I'm going to go through, so I'm probably going to end here. In the next video, I'm going to go over how we can add in uh, calculating total clicks, uh, total amount of cookies, and I might get into even the upgrades and such. So like I said, these are technically the buildings, but we can get into the upgrades and all of that and really start having fun with this. So cool. Hope this helps. Hope this makes sense.